Greetings, Pastor Mike here from Community Congregational Church, Southern Pines, North Carolina. Uh, I hope you like the new backdrop. Uh, I turned my, this is on the wall in my office, uh, my, my home study, uh, and I've turned that study into uh, studio, Pond House Studios. So uh, we'll, you'll be seeing some more videos right from here um, with, the, with the, some of the stuff that my study offers as a really cool desk, bookcase, that sort of thing. Um, but I, I want to, uh, I found a Bible that I used to carry with me, uh, in Mount Union, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's a firefighter's Bible. And, uh, in fact, the Mount Union Fire Company, you've seen several of the Mount Union Fire Company shirts in these videos. They, they allowed me to put Bibles in all of the fire trucks, uh, and ambulances. And that was really a, a cool breakthrough for me. And so this firefighter's Bible is one I used to carry with me and, one day, Gene Rudder was in the hospital and was not doing too well, and he asked me to read Psalm 139. And uh, salute to all of you that remember Gene Rudder in Mount Union. What an incredible man he was. Uh, but I want to read to you some of what he asked me to read him that day. It's Psalm 139. Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I stand up. You understand my thoughts from far away. You observe my travels and my rest. You are aware of all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know all about it, Lord. You have encircled me. You've placed your hand on me. This, this extraordinary knowledge is beyond me. It is lofty. I am unable to reach it. We often feel like that sometimes, don't we? That God's ways are, are so beyond our ways that we don't even understand it. The psalmist continues, where can I go to escape your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I live at the eastern horizon or settle at the western limits, even there your hand will lead me. Your right hand will hold on to me. Isn't that a great thing that no matter where we go, no matter where we are, that applies to situations in our lives. It applies to our very walk with God, that no matter where we are, God is with us. There's nowhere we can go that God cannot find us, that God cannot hold on to us. And, and that's one of the things we need to really uh, cling to right now, that, that no matter where we are in our walk, no matter what's going on in our world, God is there. And, and we need to seek him out. We need to have place our trust in him fully and completely. And that's a great thing. That's a blessing for each and every one of us. And, and let's hold on to that. And uh, I'm, I often look back to memories I have as a pastor. And Gene Rudder is certainly one of those wonderful memories. He, uh, he asked me to read that verse I just read. He, he used to show up at my house uh, unexpected. He'd just pull up in his pickup truck and blow the horn, and I, I was supposed to come out. Then he made fun of me that I didn't have any shoes on. And I said, I'm in my house. Why am I supposed to have shoes on? But he, he would just laugh at that, and he'd say, come on, let's go. And he'd expect me to jump in the truck, and we'd go for coffee, or we'd go to pick up the Christmas tree for the Allenport Church or, or whatever whatever his errand was. He would just pull in and blow the horn and expect me to come running with my shoes on. Uh, so... Let's bow in a word of prayer. Gracious God, we thank you and praise you for all that you are. We thank you for memories that we cling to, like Gene Rudder and, and other memories that we have. And we thank you that Psalm 139 says that no matter where we go, no matter where we are, you're with us. Your hand is upon us. And that's a blessing. And we thank you for that. We ask these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hang in there. Uh, the signs are looking better. Keep praying. Uh, be healthy. Be safe. Be blessed. And love you. Thank you.